and chill ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Hive Swap. I think this might actually be the last part in this first act of Hive Swap. I don't think this first act is actually terribly long, but we're back with my boy Zephros, or Exafros, or... Pronunciations of things. <laughs> um, let's open up this box. You open up the package. Inside is the FLARP manual. This edition of FLARP is focused on spy games, intrigue, and rebellion. Tetrarch Damek modeled a lot of his underground resistance ideas after this system. What? I don't know what a FLARP is, but okay. Oh, I like my, my snooker ball lights. Reminisce? Looking at the dozer always helps you get to sleep. And looking at the snow globe always makes you nervous. You know it's not a real one, but still. Okay. Bend? Oh, am I telepathic? Telekinetic? You don't use your hands to bend spoons, you use the power of the imagination. By which you mean your weak, unreliable psychic powers. <laughs> Ooh! Sexy boy! You play pusher, of course. Burgundies are ideally suited to this position because of their telekinetic powers and their ability to commune with dead players. Also, Pusher is the most dangerous position and no one really cares if Rustbloods get killed. Okay, beginning to learn more about you. You've pretty much got this memorized already. It's like a fork, fork, mega fork, micro fork, knife fork, fool's fork. That about covers it. <laughs> Putting them all in order. I had to do that for college. I had to learn how to set tables like that. It was not that fun. Surprisingly. Bum, bah, bum, bah. Sleep. This is roughly around when you might normally be going to sleep, but the current circumstances, that is, your imminent death if you don't escape, are not conducive to sleep. They are conducive to dying, though. Yeah, maybe not do that. Oh hey, it's your arena stickball gear. You play pusher. It brings back fond memories of your seasons playing in the Outglut Grub League. You're trying out for the Trash Thrust Junior League soon, but you're a little rusty. I'm a rust blood. If you blow it, you could get cold. Between band practice with Tetrarch Damek, revolution lectures from Tetrarch Damek, and butling practice, you mostly serve Tetrarch Damek, you really haven't had the time you need to practice. Speaking of, there's your brand new butler uniform. It brings back less than fond, memory, fond memories of when you ordered it sweeps ago. Delivery to Rustbloods like you is so slow. And hey, there's your smash suit from when the Tetrarch helped you practice cool action movie stunts. Your memory from that time is a little hazy, actually. Probably from a concussion. Um. Read. You've already tidied your butler training materials, even the ones you used to tidy the other ones. Let's go over here. Ooh, sexy boys. Every low blood who ever picked up a mic dreams of competing on Slam or Get Cold. The winner leaves their unhappy life behind for fame, fortune, and the love of millions. The losers uh, leave their unhappy lives behind for a relatively certain death. Damn, it's fucking ice cold here. It's your tablet. You use it for pretty much everything. Your auto-tune mic is plugged into it. Oh, hell yeah. Let's sing some tunes. You gather both tablet and mic with one practiced motion. They're attached, so the motion probably didn't require as much practice as you might think. You then proceed to, the, to have this conversation again from the other side. It's all news to Zephros, but it'd be a little dull to read the whole thing over again. Let's just pick up where we left off. Ah. Um, what was the voice I gave him? It was kind of like, it's weird because I thought he was a bee. When I when I saw the stuff first and all the honeycombs and everything, I, t I thought they were bees. So now I have this like really high-pitched nasal voice for him that might not suit him, but we'll keep working with it. Do you want me to say more alien things? Uh, no. I mean, I have no way to verify if those are true or not. Um, oh, send me a picture of you. I don't have any photos with me. And anyway, how could I get it to you? I'm trapped in here by that monster. Oh wait, other way around. I forgot. I this is this is not Zephros anymore, it's flipped. Um send me a picture of you. Whatever, I read it already. Aren't you using the Tetrax tablet? 
Take the pics with the eggs. Okay, yeah, we we read this. <laughs> Great picture. Oh yeah, you're definitely an alien. Or you have some strange collection of grotesque physical and mental diseases. Uh, either way, you you need my help. Okay, that much is definitely true. I'm pretty sure I heard the monster scratching at the door. He's probably hungry. Anyway, man, if you're an alien, we've got to get you out of there. The heiress hates aliens. <sighs> the what? The heiress. Oh, uh, well, she's awful and controls everything, basically. I mean, I doubt she's ever met one, but to hear her talk, she hates aliens as much as she hates lowbloods. Which I guess you also are. You're practically a member of the resistance already. Uh, I'm not sure whether to be really confused or really concerned about you. Do you need help? One time, when things got really bad with my brother, my babysitter took him to the doctor, and it seemed to help. Uh, what's a brother? What's a brother? Wow, you are so lucky. I really don't know. Okay, I'm definitely concerned. Being concerned of what friends are for- it, Being concerned is what friends do for each other. I've never had anyone tetra but Tetraxdemic be concerned about me before. Oh, jeez. I bet the other Tetrax will be extremely excited to hear that there's an alien helping us now. Uh, sure, but I'm sort of pretty focused on not being killed by the monster in the other room at the moment. That's kind of my main deal right now. I don't really have a lot of time for anything else. Right, yeah, of course. Um, I'll help you. And the Tetrak too, because, well, I think... Okay, I hope this is also helping him somehow. Which reminds me, we really shouldn't be talking like this. Like what? Tetrak Damek says we always have to assume our communications are being monitored. And this is exactly the kind of conversation I shouldn't be having. Oh man, I better hurry, hurry up and get out of here. On my way now. Please don't message me anymore. It's dangerous. BRB. In person, I mean. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, he'd get along great with Jude. The Grubbles, the Grubbles, if you book, we won't trouble to resist thrown fist. Okay, that sounds like lyrics. It's sort of hard to spit your quasi-revolutionary rhymes with any real fire while dressed in your butler uniforms, though. Tamek says you're subversively transforming the rags of your oppression into the fatigues of the revolutionary through your jams. But you're kind of worried your performances will be drowned out by sarcastic orders by to polish the silver. <laughs> Aww, Zephros, you're a good bean. That worked perfectly with the music! Bling! Oh, look at this thing! Looks like Ori. You kind of wish you could live somewhere with more trees, and maybe then he'd be less asleep always. Like most things in your life, though, you didn't really have much to say in the matter. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this up a bit so I can. Because I feel like I'm looking down like this and blaring into my microphone. Tedrak Damek had you act out scenes from some of your favorite action movies, which just so happened to be his favorite action movies too. You're looking to have a uh, Moirail who will who really pushes you. I don't know what that means. This is from the twelfth Perigee's Eve when Damek gave you the autotune mic he made. This was his way of letting you know he'd start he'd started a band and that you were the singer, and also that your voice could use a little help. You still can't believe they got a shot of you at the exact moment you clobbered the clover. What a lucky break. I too like to clobber the clover. I'm, am I using that right? I, I don't know. This is nice pictures though. Ah, oh, this one's cute. Man, Damek is a cool motherfucker. You guys have a lot of fun in the studio, as evidenced by this candid selfie Tetrick Damek, Damek told you to take. <laughs> Look at this shit! Fucking Tetra or Damek and Zephro's gonna drop the hottest mixtape of insert year here. In contrast to Tetra Damek's percussive machismo or machismo, your stage persona is more skittish, as if you're vaguely terrified of the implications of your own pseudo-revolutionary rhymes, which is not far off the mark, as one of the implications could be your execution. Look at you, so carefree. You wish you were gearing up to play right now. 
this is a great night. Damik insisted you have half the flavor disc. Pizza. Your Lucis took this picture. A delightful trick he has never repeated. I don't know how to pronounce Lucis. Lucis. Lucius. You were so excited to show him that branch. He ate all the leaves in one very slow bite, and you were left with a pretty decent hive made cubat. The first cubat you've ever had, actually. Oh. Boom. This thing has a little shark fin on it. Your smear spinner has gotten a lot of use lately. Why, just look at that even glisten of mucus on the floor. Beautiful. You could almost take pride in it. Almost. What's down here? Oh, it's Damek's room! This is cool! Ooh, I can play! Nah, recess tabletop arena stickball isn't very fun by yourself. It's not very much like arena stickball either. Can I play video games? Pause right at the height of exciting sport. You can open the sports vault with your hands. Try thinking before you act. It's your sports vault, just a huge heavy vault themed with sports, arena stickball specifically, and obviously. It's the only place in the hive you can store food for your Lucis. He's so strong, he could easily break into any other hiding place. There's a special telekinesis-based interface that tends to wear you out a little, and the combination is pretty hard to remember. Okay. Ooh, equip the bat! You tried to pull the cue bat free, but it seems you wedged it in there a little too tight. Whoops. You need to find something to help you pry it loose. Oh, but I don't wanna. Oh wait, this is all the same. Um... Okay, what can we use? What's down here? Clean. Maybe if your hallway is really clean, the drones will stop trying to burn your neighborhood down and kill you? Ah, there's that rust blood moxie. Jesus, man. It's tough all around. It's just your faithful old scour dray, which you haven't bothered draining recently. Inside of it, Res- resi fluid and floor filth coalesce to make a repugnant grey sludge. That sounds delightful. Ah shit, I clicked out of the game. Go. Go downstairs. You think you should find something to protect yourself with before descending into the violent unknown of your hive for a weapon. But I didn't know what to loosen it with. Okay, we gotta look around. Ooh! Look at me go! Holy shit! You drop some rebellious anti-establishment rhymes about vaults and your lucis and some other half-formed concepts about the case cast A system. Case system. I don't know. It's pretty solid, but the vault isn't having is having none of it. Oh, how do I open you, vault? I wanna open it. Ooh, I wanna chill. Sometimes when you're tired, you just kind of chill out here in your splay sack. It's not something like the type of place you want to chill in. For a few hours, instead of going to sleep in your... Reciprocoon. Or Recuperacoon, not Reciprocoon. Um, sometimes when you do that, you think about your life and the decisions you've made and how much of a choice you really had about a lot of things. You try not to dwell on stuff like that, though. Yeah, because that'll make you sad. Okay, there's something somewhere around here. Oh, I didn't look at these pictures. Haha! <laughs> He was always giving you leaves to eat. You would munch on them for his benefit, mostly. So cute. Come to think of it, though, you have always been pretty strong. Could those bitter leaves you nod on as a wiggler have something to do with that? There's a lot of different terms that kind of don't go with the sentences, and I'm like, I'm reading it, and then I'm like, wait, what was that word? When you were just a little wiggler, wiggler being one of them, curling up as your loosest made you feel safe when the world seemed scary, which was often. Jeez, come to think of it, the two of you haven't played on the tree in a long time. Maybe that's why he's been so lazy. Well, at least it looks like the two of you will... At least it looks like the two of you will both be getting some exercise in the immediate future. Okay, cool. Cool. Clean space, noble instruments of your career, I guess. Can I use this on anything? Maybe, actually, I just had to click on some stuff here to use. You can't quite lift a cue bat with your telekinesis. The best pushers can, but you're not one of them. Could I just do this? Yep, I could just do that. Okay, am I playing a minigame? What's happening? What the fuck is going on? Why 
How come? Oh, Jesus. I didn't know what that said. Did you die? Oof, that's a rough one. It can be hard to remember the path when you're already concentrating on your shaky telekinesis. It helps if you have some kind of guide on hand. You've got just the thing, but uh, you don't think it's in this room. Okay. Oh, I can bend a spoon! Yes, that's right. Practice makes almost adequate. That's the burgundy way. Your mind flexes with the pulsing might of your phenomenal telekinetic powers. And you bend a tiny little silver spoon without even using your little grubby fingers. Big tough guy. Better bring this along just in case you run into any... Into any bent soup. <laughs> I think I can use the spoon and the, the bat that's in here. Hopefully, otherwise I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! You got the cue bat This thing packs a wallop. Especially when the tip is chalked and it's carried by you. Can you use that in the door? Your cubat is way too big for the precise, delicate, intellectual sports maneuvers necessary to solve the sports vol locking mechanism. Okay, oh well, wait, am I able to actually go downstairs now? Because it said I can't leave without having a weapon to defend myself. Keep walking. Huzzah! Progress. Oh damn. Is that the lady? Dude, she cool! Your imperial edict mandated portrait of the heiress. She rules your planet with a perfectly manicured golden fist. You know it's perfectly manicured because she recently issued an imperial memorandum about her new nail art. The drones outside are doing her dirty work. She'll have a shiny top coat of blood after tonight. All of it common hued. You're sure? Common hued. Okay, cool. Um, there's so much stuff to click on. You never know which is actually worth clicking on or which is just flavor text. You subscribe to a wide variety of hip periodicals. Arena, Stickball, Illustrated, Grubs, Diurnally. Diurnally. Those are actually the only titles you know. The rest always incorporate the magazine's name on the cover into some sick graphic design to the point that you can't actually tell what the name is. This one with the graffiti of a muscle beast throwing up is usually about movies, though. Let's go listen to the weather. Oh, I'm changing the channels. Is she just standing around getting her picture taken? <laughs> As a Rustblood, you're not permitted to have luxurious circular discs, only the standard hexagons. <laughs> oh, that's good. These lounge planks, <laughs> the lounge planks, aren't full of soap or slime or anything like that. They're just comfortable horizontal surfaces suited to either the sitting or lying prone positions. Sure. Uh, no, let's not exit yet. Oh, Lucis! Ah, oh, dang it! Your Lucis is sleeping somewhere totally inconvenient again. Come on, wake up. Uh, I get to name them? The name is Zoosmell already. That's pretty good. Like Zoosmell. That's probably how they pronounce it. Come on, Zoosmell. And then Joey comes up, he's like, you do realize that says Zoosmell, right? And they're like, I don't know what a zoo is. Um. Uh. Flufferkins. Nah, I like Zoosmell. Zoo smells actually good. There we go. Move? You ask Zoo smell to move. At first you're friendly and casual, as if you expect him to move easily. Then you try being polite, but a little distant. Your tone becomes annoyed, then firm, followed by stern, finally shifting to angered. Nothing works. You just can't reach him lately. The only thing Zoo smell seems to care about is his sloth treats. Agitate Grub Slurry. You don't currently have any unagitated Grub Slurry that needs agitating in your Grub, grub Slurry Agitator. What the fuck? Whenever you do, though, you'll always know what to do. Fucking hell. Are any of these treats in here? You pick up the Grub Juice Hydration Cylinders, also called soda. 
Nice! Now if you need a quick restorative for your psychic stamina, you'll just have that. Or you'll, yeah, you'll just have that in your hand instead of not having it like some kind of chump. Eating an unranged cluck beast over is it eggs is a great way to fill your acid tubes with horrifying parasites who probably wouldn't get along with your benevolent parasites or your benign parasites. Ah, uh, these are still in here. Bile slaw really doesn't keep well. There's a cake. Left over from Tetrak Damek's early wriggling day party. He doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple wipes. But you wanted to celebrate him before his rites of matur maturation. So, they call birthdays wriggling days. And he doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple of wipes yet. I understand all these things. Always useful in case you need to whip up a souffle. You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Okay, so none of these are the treats for the dog. I'm just gonna call it a dog, because it's basically a dog. Oh, maybe this is the thing. You pick up the pusher playbook. Now, if a situation arises where you need to remember a particular play, you'll be well equipped to do so. You resolve to keep an eye out for just such a contrivance. Is that the thing I need to go back upstairs? Do, 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 do. Your team, your theme, I was gonna say team, like a good old Irishman. Your team is fucking mighty. Okay, we do better this time? I think we're doing better. It's a different camera angle anyway, so something's different. Now go up. There you go, atta boy. Keep rolling. Just limp biscuit and keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> what the fuck? Zephros, you're awesome. Now you can get the sloth treats. What a trial that was. Lucky he has such a slow metabolism. You grab the sloth treats, you know just what to do with these. Cool! I thought there was gonna be something better in there. Besides Scooby Snacks. Riding around robbing banks all whack on a Scooby Snacks. Uh, God, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Come on, bub bub. You've got just the thing to get him moving. Here you go, zoo smell. You gonna move? Oh, he's moving. What a big boy! What a fat boy! Okay. Exit? See you later! Ooh, nice backgrounds. The hell is this? What are you? Hmm, oh. Scratchware received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third-party surveillance. As a special one-time offer, all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to these terms of service? Uh, yes. Yes? So now I can talk to her, right? What the fuck? Zephros, no! My buddy! The hell is this? Hello? Hey, Joey. It's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're Xerox? Actually, no, I'm Zephros. Oh, oops. Uh, are you okay? What's going on? I thought we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, um, something weird happened, though. I, I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick, do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window now? Oh, hey, yeah, that wasn't there before. Okay, I think we're safe then. Yeah, we're locked. To chat, anyway. Okay, good. I still don't get what the danger is, but I guess if... I guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. Well, um... Some bad news on that front. Um, a missile hit my hive and I'm buried under the debris in my lawn ring. <laughs> a missile? I heard a big heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? Oh, yeah. That was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother, but I was about to say something to those effects. Or I mean, 
I was gonna say, I'm sorry I can't help you anymore and you're- we're both stuck waiting to find out <laughs> if the flames or the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that! I'm gonna save you! Aren't you stuck? I was, but that missile knocked some boxes over and I don't think I could have moved on my own, so in a weird way, it kinda helped. Boxes? Yeah, they were blocking a vent shaft. I'm gonna climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're kind of like a real-life action hero. <laughs> wow. Oh, shucks. I want to help you the way you were going to help me. And you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized. I repeat. I have a meaning to ask. What the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. <laughs> Petrak Darmic told me he likes to make... He likes it when I smile. Hmm. Oh, because it... An X on his head. For Zephros, for this thing? We have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh! Those are my horns! Your horns? Yeah? Like the guy in the screensaver? On the screensaver? I... Think so. That's probably not me, though. But those are real? Um... Do you not have horns? You saw the picture of her! I thought they were out of frame. Oh. No, I don't have horns, jeez. What a question. That's so weird. And cool! You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's our, your lucky day. Or I mean, it really seems to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. I think so, yeah. I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to the wounds and try not to move much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. <laughs> He's so crushed that it's holding him together. <laughs> Man, Xerox, buddy, we've really got to work on your concept of what's okay. Alrighty. Okay, same shit as always. What the hell is this thing? The huge monitor seems to be all set for weird energy, which is the what this cube positively radiates. Okay. Use it on the thing! You don't see any place to put this weird glowing cube, which is just fine since you don't want a door to open anyway. What? Put it in that. Put it- put it in this. Um... Okay. Can I just not open the door? No way! If you wanted to get killed by a weird monster in the basement, you would have stayed at home. That's true. All right then, aha! Uh -huh. The vent! I forgot. Crawl, Joey! Crawl! This whole place is gonna explode. So where was the missile from? Oh, that guy in the background looks like Judge Dredd. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow! That's pretty exceptional! Well, oh, gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy and, in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say, it was more dangerous than I... expected? Well, um... I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Typing quirks are sort of... I notice you don't really have one, but, um... They're kind of a thing that's exclusive to, you know... Or, I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. Ah, uh, I, I see. Well, I am sorry. I'll know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephros. Hey, she didn't call him Xerox. It's okay to tell people when they have something that bothers you. When they do something that bothers you. Hell yes it is, and I have a terrible time expressing that. So many times when people do stuff that bothers me and I'm like, oh. It's easier for me to go along with this than it is for me to confront you about it, so I'm just gonna go along with this. Better express how you feel than sit on it forever whilst the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh, yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get you out of there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I use it to move my looses around, but Tetric Darmic borrowed it. To move some guns, I think. Maybe his drums. He mumbles. 
Oh, huh. Bad timing, haha. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple of sweeps ago. So I guess it's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive, haha. <laughs> Actually, that's mostly what Tetrax says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where is this hover pad exactly? Oh, right! Ah, sorry. It's fine, I just don't wanna don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while typing. I think it's probably still in the Tetrax loft above his respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but uh Filthy? I don't know about the other ones. I don't know this place. It's filthy in here. I don't want to make you anxious, but uh that describes um every block in Tetrax Hive. Great, I'll message you when I've made some progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from the blood loss, so I'm gonna chill out here for a little while. Just poke me with a stick whenever. Hang in there. I'll find that hover pad soon. Yeah, it's pretty much a fucking dump in here. You pick up the, let's see, looks like this is the big book of beasts. You flip through, glimpsing tons of monsters at various levels of, I assume that's weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can also use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. Just take out a camera like Bender. <laughs> Neat. Um, right, okay. You see the medium book of beasts, the small book of beasts, and several beasts collected in random order in a book. It's funny Newt Scamander was here, he'd help us. Hey, you can see the portal from here, right through this giant hole you made when you inadvertently laser beamed yourself into Damek's home. You hope you're not responsible for any of this damage. What's this? Is this a toilet? Damek seems pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack this safe, probably wouldn't be, um, <laughs> safe to do so. Steer clear. <laughs> You're going anywhere near Damek's clogged toilet, or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg he hatched out of. It's gross, whatever it is. There isn't a handle, it must be open some other way. No dice. You guess it's out of power? Maybe? Possibly. This desk is in pretty lousy shape and on account of the guns pile on top of it. If you need to get any last minute paperwork done, look elsewhere. Okay, do I have to read this fucking book? I can't really use it on anything anyway. You pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about Muscle Beast Pectoral Tumacine. Okay, or Tomb Scene. Maybe you should just use this on Lucis's that you actually encounter. Also, hope that you never encounter that one. Alright. That's a cool poster! These movies kind of look like not your thing, really. No judgment, you just don't want these posters at all. I think they're awesome. I would like them. What is this thing? Can't just up and move such a formidable pile with your fleshy, unsalted hands. Attempting this feat would be embarrassing and time consuming and incredibly dangerous. There's drums up there! I wanna play the drums! I wanna look at Judge Dredd picture. Doesn't it look like Judge Dredd? Beautiful deer cat looks like the deer cat, but um... Are they common here or something? Let's see. You pick a page at random? Okay, same thing. Wait, hold on for a second. Can I... Ah, silly me! I forgot I had the little green cube! <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Is that a fucking harpoon gone through that door? Hey! Hi, Joey! How's it going? Uh, not great. I accidentally put everything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door? That's probably it. The Tetrak has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid or is your planet really dangerous? Must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner for one thing. And it has a tree growing in my f in it for my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another Rustblood. But don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. 
I don't know a single other person on your planet. Oh, right. Uh, okay, but um, yeah. So, uh, we're rebelling. Huh? It's okay. You can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? Why is the A not? No, the heiress is a girl. Oh, um, right. You're an alien. Okay. So, some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet in her wicked finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a she's a sea dweller and a, a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one, um, well, she's really far away all the time, leaning the, the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but anyway, Ares is enough to deal with. The other high bloods follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Well, of course. Ain't that always just the way? Ha, <laughs> yeah. I was kidding. I don't know what high bloods or drone armies or anything are. I hate to be all, Hi, I'm new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness. Feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. Ha 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 ha. You're pretty upbeat about all this. <laughs> I don't understand sarcasm. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? <laughs> I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles onto our bodies until we're dead. Speaking of which, Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, um, a lot of this can wait until we get you to safety. I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. I guess we're gonna do that. God, there's so much shit everywhere. It's so confusing. Nope, nope, nope. Not your bug, not your bowl, not your problem. The computer! You wonder if Damak ever makes his own video games as a means of hashing out his problems. Like Clarissa does. Clarissa's so cool. Are we talking about, like, the 1990s show of Clarissa? Because that'd be amazing. You assume this is a trophy for best terror cat menace fawn trash bronco in show. This hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your house while, at the same time, not caring if people fall down holes. Blood form is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal below. Okay, that's cool. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone, worried someone is going to steal his... Okay, there's just... There's no way he eats bugs, right? He could. You don't know. Don't judge. Um... I still have the fucking pigeon! Okay. To figure out what to use on what. Oh god, these are horrible pictures. This imagery is completely opaque to you. Must have some sort of deep cultural significance to the inhabitants of this world. Probably not. Hmm. Need to study the real thing. Got it. Can I throw these down there? The hole is not a pet. It's simply a round absence of floor. <laughs> Except it's not round. And I can't go back now, so I know I have to solve something in here. There's a note on the desk. Demek has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grubbles. L-E-S or E-L-S. Several times. The Grubbles seems to be the current favorite though. At least until he crosses out and writes it the other beneath it. How can you read this? Man, I thought that that was going to be a solution. Okay. Oh, footsteps. Oh! For some reason, I thought these were separate rooms. I thought I came through this door and ended up in that section. So, let's see if we can do anything with this. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Oh, hell yeah, we get to play Snake again! Oh, yeah, let's do this. Wait, which ones do I get? Does it matter? Uh, hey, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. Ooh, sorry, right. It's okay. Um... Try to move around a lot. 
Really get yourself nice and wounded. Wait, what? Let's never mention this again. Please try and save us. <laughs> Please try to forget I said that. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this uh, security puzzle, you could call it. I saw the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Do you mean the serpent ROM that Tetrakdamic rigged up to his power hexagrid? Wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. There's another one? A different one? I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it could be connected to. His hive security, probably. He's always tinkering it with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they're different. There's different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it's probably... Lots of X's. Oh, really? No, wait, sorry, I mean, I'm... <laughs> what? No, that's not it. What? I'm trying to keep it in, but it keeps getting changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed. It must stop me from putting my password to the chat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Really? Let me try. Miss Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80. <laughs> What's that? No, uh, you told me it would turn it into X symbols. Well, you're using the Tetrax tablet. I wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Is this Taylor Thomas 80? Seems like a nice password. I'd never guess that. You must be really smart, Joey. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just, well, I guess it's the name of a boy I like. Really? Haha, <laughs> don't tell anyone that. Don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is too. Oh? Do you have a girl you like? Oh no, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. I am. <laughs> oh. Huh. So, um, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in rocks. But security console? Yeah, about that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back and forth between blah, 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 blah. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scan around and see if I can find something. It's probably has been written now. Ah, ha, ha. It's the thing I just looked at, the grubbles. I'm gonna conserve my strength a little bit, maybe. Getting kind of dead. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Getting kind of dead. Um, it's gonna get, it's gonna get a little dead. It's gonna, it's gonna get a little bit dead. Oh Jesus, really? I have to memorize this? Can I take a picture of this? Just to see? I don't know, man. It's pretty weird. I'm gonna crop it as well. No, get out of here! Fuck! There we go. Okay, done. We got ourselves a nice little picture of the thing. See? Perfect. This is gonna work, guys. It's gonna work, y'all. Even though I guess I could just keep guessing. I don't know what the first one is. Neither of these. I don't know! I'm just fucking guessing, man. Uh-oh. I miss it. Got now to to guess again. Okay, there's only oh wait no, there's two of them. That was my fault. I ran into the fucking wall. Oh, I think I have it. There's only one thing left. Oh shit. Oh shit. I could fuck it all up here. Did I do it? Oh my god, I just guessed! I just kept guessing. I think it was in the top right corner. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the Lucis is here. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Run, Joey! Ah, uh, she pirouetted away. <laughs> Use those ballerina skills. Okay, my picture of the thing was useless then. Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into a... Fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh yeah, now I remember. The Tetrax Lucis. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me on what that means? What what means? What's a Lucis? Wow. What? That's uh, just about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. Yeah, cultural differences, etc, etc. Can you bring me up to speed on what the wild beast stalking me? Why does Damak even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not actually crazy. Your Lucis takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. I... not really? Are they all, um, beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious. I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. That's a family. It's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter, and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Oh, wait, are the hives just the place where the adults come, make their offspring, and leave again? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live for you? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody ever comes back, ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I think this might be another... Wow, I'm an alien. Conversation better safe for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm gonna have a rest in a sec. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, uh... Stay alive. Um, kid power! Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> uh, right. The fuck is this? Is that a microwave? It's really ghosts. Maybe you can clean it. Yeah. You definitely traveled to a strange alien world to deep clean this guy's kitchen. That's how you live your life for sure. Let's get some tasty treats, yo. This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins. Seeing as the tastes and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during this, its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. Grub sauce. Huh. I wonder if everyone in this planet eats nothing but bugs. Or maybe it's just Damic. That would be worse somehow. The Crooks. Wow. That's a really, really stupid name for a canned beverage. I think it's awesome! I'm gonna have me a can of the Crooks. Did he just hurl a handful of eggs into the fridge and leave it like that? Boys, you swear. Are those teeth? You remind yourself not to have any birthdays here. Could be anything in there. You're not about to open Pandora's doggy bag to find out. Okay, so this was useless to me. Oh, no, I don't want to look at the fucking same thing again. This is cruel aid. Oh, you get it, huh? This place is kind of horrible. It's like cruel aid. Cool aid, but cruel aid. There was a wardrobe there that I didn't go to. Pretty sure this is where I need to be, though. Cabinet is empty. Kind of running a theme today and also most of your life. Wait. What did I get? There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Damak missed it too. That would explain why it's actually clean. Okay, oh wait. Bowl's right there. Okay, keep that in mind. Bowl. Bowl, very good, very good. What is this? This is my symbol on it. From my tablet experience. Zephro says this is his, but it looks like Damak uh, has other ideas. Oh well, Damak isn't here. Now you can help Zephros with it, and help Zephros by returning it. Oh, right, okay, I get it. I found the hover pad, hover sled, whatever it's called, I got it. I can come save you. Excellent. Although I think I'm a little boxed in. Between the deer cat and this pile of guns and drums, I 
don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Well, the Tetrarch made some pretty ex... ex, ex, ex of, uh, modifications to my hover pad. That might be able to help. Yeah, um, this guy doesn't sound like he has a good sense of respect for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it. Tetrarch Damek says the concept of private property is a vehicle for exploitation and the tool by which the high bloods subjugate the low bloods underclass. Uh, well, I'm new here. I can't really comment, I guess. Anyway, it'll be back in your hands now, so problem solved. Blah, XD. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon. Dude, can we play drums? Just think of all the possibilities for alien animal care held in this little kit. You kind of regretted not taking the one from your bedroom, but this more than makes up for that absurd blunder. Okay, I got a big animal med bag. Maybe you can use it on the loosest. I can't use it on the drum. Just plunge your hands into the pile of death. Huh. You think you look around a bit for something here to assist you. But why? Why do all the same dorky si- Why do they all have the same dorky symbol on them? Boys, you swear. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. God, the thing is fucking massive. Did I kill something? Ah, oh, shit. My bad. If the Tetrax Lucis is upset, it might have got hurt. Got X? Oh, got 10. Gotten. Got it. That's cute. Anyway, I did see a whole lot of blood smeared up to a huge hole in the floor. Oh, no! Well, it was brown, so it's pretty old. I'm not sure what you mean. The Tetrax is a bronze blood. So that's either Damic or is Lucis, and it's recent. Wait. Oh, okay, so you've been saying things about blood color a lot, but I was always assuming it's kind of metaphorical. You know, like a, a filthy dirt blood kind of person. Not actually rust blood. Are you seeing members of your species literally have different colors of blood? Yeah, I'm a rust blood. Bronze, rust, so it's a metals thing. No, it's by color. I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't best to talk about all this. Yeah, I'd be glad to tell you all about it. About the blood on our planet when I'm not leaking so much of it on the ground. Ha, <laughs> wow. I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming. As soon as I can figure out a way past this wild beast. Maybe I can give him a treat? I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? Uh, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you. Given the fact that you were, uh, it sounds like raised by one. <laughs> Hmm? Let's move on. Maybe we can sneak past him? Pretty unlikely. Wait, are you the kind of alien that's invis invisible and silent? No. Yeah, no chance then. Maybe I can outrun him. Surprised he's been chasing you. That's really not like him. Well, now that you mention it, he didn't exactly chase me. I think this might be all a misunderstanding. He's probably upset. Or Damek missing and everything that happened before you got here. I mean, they can be kind of frustrating. Lucis's, I mean. They mean well, and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing. It's not always easy to understand them, you know? Yeah, I have something like that. I have someone like that. Oh? Yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it. <laughs> well, okay. If we have an upset beast on our hands, there's really only one thing to do. Yeah? Joey Claire, amateur veterinarian, is going pro. BRB. Fuck yeah, let's go! Let's go, Joey! Um, back through this? Oh no, back through here. I forgot. Ha! Uh, hi! Paging deer cat out there is still pretty furious. You've got to somewhat find ways some way to track so you can approach it from the other side. Okay, but how? Hmm. Maybe we can use the pitch. No. 
It opened. The door opened. You can now proceed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. I saw this already. Cool. Can I not go back out through the vent? No. Walk. I guess not. Oh, now I have too many items. I don't know what fucking which ones do what. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can go back up. I forgot. Um, and let's go back down to the fridge. Fridge must have something in it that I can use. Um... Grub sauce, the pizza... Eggs, okay, none of these are doing anything. Oh! You take the loosest milk! Maybe this will calm the beast. Sweet, and mix it with the bowl. Nice! And use the bowl on the door. Nom nom sweet milk! You, you, you want, you want the milk? Oh, it's just a big cat. Whew. You can hear the deer cat slurping the milk right on the other side. You would start it if you went through this way. Okay, let's try and go back up and around then. This might actually work. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Keep Christopher. Nice, we're out. Can I go this way? The feed on the top TV monitor looks like the room you were in a moment ago. It's weird to see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks slightly different than you remember. The left one seems to be an error message, but you don't recognize the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephros? In the bottom one? This big monster parent thing is helping him out, and uh, that's um... You were supremely creeped out. No, it's helping him. Can I not go out through here? Did you not look at this door before trying that? It's insanely dangerous out there. If you want to make a run for it across the street, you better be fast. Okay, maybe I can do something else with this loosest thing. Upon closer inspection, this animal is clearly hurt. It's time to put- Aha uh ha! Help the kitty. You'd feel better about treating the deer cat if you knew a little more about it other than that- Oh yeah. You flipped through the pages, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Its scientific name is apparently the Cuspidated Grimalkin. <laughs> Cuspidated Grimalkin is a chimerical union of predator and prey with the strengths of both long retractable claws, razor sharp, blah, blah, blah. I just want to learn how to fix it. Fix him. Can I not on you? Here we go. Oh, he had a big thorn in his paw. Yee! Oh, we're friends now. Ah, oh, good girl, Joey. Oh, wow, what a cutie. But, what's his name? You could ask Sephiroth, I guess, but I feel like there's something between the two of you now. Something that merits a new one. Cornibuster. No! That's stupid! Um, I mean, you've been calling him Deer Cat all this time, so why not? Deer Cat and Zoo Smell. No, 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 no. Ride. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm gonna get over there. I keep seeing the shadows of huge hulking things flying around outside. Yeah, that, yeah, that cr crossing won't be easy. Okay, I'm sorry. Is it always so hard to get across the street? No, I mean, not usually. Things got pretty intense. Clever. How do you mean? Somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Maybe they did and it went bad. I really don't know. Tamek didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed everything up. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want to risk you getting hurt because of me. You want to risk it for me? Yeah, that's true, I guess. No guessing necessary. I didn't realize how brave you were being. Thank you. It means, uh, it means a lot. But, no buts. Except yours. Which I'm saving. <laughs> Are you sure? Extremely. Oh! 
We'll be there in a flash. Excellent! Wait, we? He didn't freak out this time! Let's go, dear cat! Oh man, I want one. I need one. I want one. I want to fly around town on one of those. Why does this one look so different than your one? Hey, we're here. Oh geez, is that you under the rubble? I mean, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you being crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't happen enough that I'd mistake you for someone else crushed under rubble. No, it's me. I was lucky. Lucky? Left for dead, covered up, but not hurt bad enough to actually die. The ones who got cold on sight, or snatched up to be cold later, probably in some sick high blood spectacle. They weren't as lucky as me. Is this why you're rebelling against these drone things? No. I mean, not really. The ARS is in charge and the drones obey her. It's her birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Low bloods get cold for anything and everything or no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our subgrub being on fire makes a really sick selfie background. Are you serious? She sounds terrible. Huh, yeah, no kidding. It's like the Tetrax says. The slow, the soft, the unlucky, the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the era snaps her webby little fingers. They get rounded up and slaved or slaughtered. Especially rust buds. Like me. This is terrible. Your neighborhood is on fire. You're buried in rubble. Like you said. This is why we were rebelling. This is so awful. Why hasn't someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of low bloods. We don't matter. So nobody who does matter cares. All this is is taking out the garbage. It's always been this way. Nobody does anything about it. Especially not gutter bloods. Like me. We're mostly good at lying down to die. <laughs> Jesus. But you're rebelling, right? So you are doing something. Oh, that's not me. That's the Tetrarch. Tetrarch Damak is different. He's amazing. I wish you could meet him. Is that the boy that he likes? That's cute. He always does things. Like he's in a movie where he's the star. You know? Um, he put the whole thing together. The Rebel Network, the plan, all of it. Or without him, we don't have a chance. He was the one everyone talked to and now he's gone. He's gone. And I'm alone. And I'm slow and soft and stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm just a nothing little gutter blood nobody. I want big no on this. No! What? This damn it guy. He sounds like he stinks. What? Okay, I'm sorry, but you talk about him constantly and you've. And you. And not a single word you've said doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No! It's not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Ah, open your eyes. Why do you think you're really saying these terrible things? It's not like I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my pa makes me feel just rotten. And I think, am I the reason he's never around? What's wrong with me? That makes my own father not want to see me. Well, that's a load of garbage. The only, reason, the only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't understand. Me and the Tetrarch have been together since we were grubs. We were fated to be... More eyes. You wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. No, you don't. I may not know anything about the social customs of this crazy alien planet, but I know that a real friend would never stand by and let let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. In fact, I know you're not nothing. You've got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea, doesn't I mean it didn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me, an alien you'd never met. That's the bravest thing I've ever heard. Heard get tried. Do you really think so? Yeah. I believe in you, Zephros. Wow. You remembered my name this time. She's, she remembered it before, dude. Yes. That's because you made such a big impression on me. And we're such good friends and I'd be really sad if you gave up and died here under these rocks. Oh man. That actually means a lot to me. I never even dreamed that someone like this... Something like this could ever happen to someone like me. <sighs> Zephros, I'm going to do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone has ever done for you. I'm not alone after all. I've got Joey Alien here to save me. And tell me what to do. Well, uh, <laughs> no, we're in this together. 
Oh, yeah, right. Thanks, Joey. Let's get you out of here and figure out what's next. Are you sure you don't know anyone who can help us? I kind of don't know what kind of help we need, but it seems like we do. Well, I do know someone, but they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh, yeah. She hates the heiress. And she's our biggest fan. It's good enough for me. Now hold still. Time to get him out of this shit. Um... What? Oh, clear rubble. I was like, do I need something for it? You got no chance of moving at all with just your bare hands. It's time to bust out the hover pad. I forgot. I'm dumb. Zephros be free! Aw, are you okay? He's hurt! Aw. <laughs> oh, we outie, dude. What about his Lucis? What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's the ARS's ship. She did fucking do it for a selfie! What a piece of shit! Oh man! Better look next time. What? Kansas City Shuffle. Oh man, that was fun! So that's, that's the end of Act 1. Obviously, there's a whole lot more to come, but they decided to release Act 1 just so people actually have something to play. Which is probably a good idea. I really like that. It's a- it's a bit weird because... It's very light on gameplay type of stuff. Like, a lot of the gameplay is just clicking on things and reading and everything, and th th that's fine if that's what you're into. It's not really my thing. That kind of gameplay. The the whole just clicking on things and solving puzzles. I wish there was a little bit more to it. I wish the battles actually had something to them or there was more battles or something. It's just something to break up the pacing more. Because it's, it's very monotonous after a while. Which, I mean, that's just the type of game it is. It's not really my thing. But the characters and the dialogue really saved it. James Roach, that was the, the guy's name who did the... The music that I couldn't remember last time. Oh, she got a million likes on it, so that's good. And 430,000 spades. I like how it still has an Instagram logo on it. <laughs> um. Oh, Timmy Chang worked in the animation. Timmy Chang is Timmy from Undertale. That's cool. Nice! But yeah, as I was saying, the characters in the story and the dialogue and everything really saved it for me. And there he is, Toby and James doing the music. Because I think... I think if the game was just... If it was just that type of gameplay, I think I would have gotten bored of it pretty quickly. But the fact that the characters are so endearing and you actually want to... Like, you actually want to read what they're saying. You want to get- you want to know more about them and you want to hear them talk just because they're such funny characters. It was a bit heavy on the dialogue in the last two episodes with that tablet thing. It's a bit too much for the player to take in, I think. It's just- it's just reading over and over and over again. At least when you're actually in the environment and you're clicking on stuff to read, like your eyes are busy, there's stuff going on, you can see different things. But when it's just a tablet and just text, it kind of gets a bit... A bit mundane, which is just not really a good idea, I don't think. 
Like, there's times when you're sitting there, you're like, okay, get past the dialogue so I can get back and actually, like, look around this world. Because the world is awesome. The, the actual art and everything is super cool, and I love all the little animations for all the cutscenes, but... Definitely could be tightened up a small bit. Um, not to say that it was bad or anything. I still really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it as well. I, I thought it was awesome. I'm looking forward to Act 2. I want to see what's actually going on and what progresses and if we actually get to hang out with Damek. Or if Damek's back there with Jude doing stuff, so... It'll be interesting, but for now... Oh, I, I don't know when Act 2 is coming out, by the way. So this is it for now. It could be months before the next part is out. Could be weeks. Could be out tomorrow for all I know. Well... I highly doubt it's out tomorrow, but I, I I don't know when it's coming out, so we're just gonna have to wait and see when the next part is out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face, wake up, boys, and I face all right. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Music's so peaceful. I like it, and these backgrounds are so nice to look at. I want this as a wallpaper.